I'd like to compare the film to a multiple course meal. Relishing each part of the story is a delicious experience with lots of twists and turns. Favorite cast members from four years ago return, along with Richard Gere adding to the mix. As the movie begins, Sonny Kapoor, played by Dev Patel, is trying to purchase a second hotel. Potential investors promise to send someone over to inspect the facilities. The original Best Marigold Hotel mostly operates as a home for retired British expatriates in India. Overly conscientious Sonny calls Roll every day to make sure none of his guests has passed away. When someone not fitting the typical profile arrives, not-so-old American Guy Chambers, played by Richard Gere, the young Indian businessman concludes this is the guy investors had promised. Sonny's over-the-top and nervous personality pushes him to try too hard to please his new guest. A major theme that permeates the movie is the difficulty of romantic love. Sonny's lack of confidence nearly sabotages his relationship with his fiancée. On the other hand, the hotel guests, who mostly appear to be in their 70s or older, are having similar difficulties. We can blame this on misperceptions and problems communicating. Interesting thing, as you watch the film, you'll find yourself no less moved by mature love than by young love. So, where's all this heading? I don't want to give away too much, but I will tell you there's some great Indian dancing. What the dance shows on TV call Bollywood style. And although India has great poverty, the film manages to show us the country's beauty, both scenic and in the lives of its people. Now back to your question about where this is heading. Maggie Smith's character sums up the movie's life lesson like this. You have no idea what you will become. You can't control it. That's where the fun begins. She's right. Life's a lot more fun when we give up trying to control circumstances and other people. The second, Best Marigold Hotel. I just regret the film wasn't ready for Valentine's Day. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.